Let's welcome to the Creative Morning Stemper stage, Mr. Lonnie Hans. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So, um, when I was interviewing Brandy to do social media for Camp Christmas, uh, the subject of Creative Mornings came up, and before I knew it, <clears throat> she is that way, you know. Uh, she had me signed up to do a presentation on, of all things, truth. Uh, she asked me about truth, and I, I said I had some ideas about what is and isn't truth uh, surrounding magic and magic moments, um, and I'll, I'll get into that uh, eventually. You know, how hard could a 20-minute presentation be about truth? <laughs> for 100 creatives early in the morning. <laughs> a five-letter word. Could be a wordle. Yeah. <laughs> so I started to do a little research and I, I, you know, about the word and I tried to find speeches about truth and sayings and quotes that, you know, I was hoping to run into a George Carlin, you know, uh, uh, you know routine that I could just rip off and, 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 and deliver this morning, uh, but I didn't find one. Um, but a lot of my creative work is about um, exhausting the subject to find its whole, right? So evolution of the ball at Coors Field is all about looking at every ball that's ever been invented and, and uh, then, then trying to come up with, with a statement out of that. This, this room is an example of, of trying to exhaust the idea uh, or of what we think a cabaret is and then uh, trying to deliver that. Um, and, but I have to admit, um, I started with the best intentions, but truth is a very deep subject. And uh, a few f thousand references later, um, um, I uh, realized that I could only get to a few ideas that I'm going to present um, th this morning. I am not going to cite um, anybody in this speech um, because I ripped off Everybody that's ever said anything about truth, everybody has been quoted about truth. Everybody's been asked about truth. I found out very, very quickly. I could have worked, you know, a hundred more hours uh, on this. So I'm, I'm uh, apologizing ahead of time. Some, these are some of the people that I have ripped off and sort of put together a, uh, you know, you know those AI services now that say that they're going to write for you. This is this speech is sort of like that. Um, I want to congratulate the chapter on your ninth anniversary. I brought, um, we have some new products at Camp Christmas this year in the gift shop. Uh, this, this is guilt repellent. Um, it's perspective refreshing formula. It's holiday strength. Um, um, you know the holidays, you know, they get a little intense. So we did this, we did shame be gone spray. Uh, we did Holly and Jolly uh, Party Pooper Strength uh, uh, Holiday Spirit Spray. I did uh, Embarrassment Erasers, you know, all the stuff, all the stuff you need for the holidays to get you through the holidays. I do hope that you'll come out uh, to, to camp uh, and uh, capture your holiday spirit. So, but I brought you a bottle of Gil repellent to the, to, the, to the founders of, of the organizers. Um, and the quote for you would be, today you are you, that is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. <laughs> so, truth. Is it not clicking? Do I need to click? There you go. Ah, there we go. Um, real things, events and facts, actuality, accurate, faithful, Believable, candid, correct, factual, forthright, authentic, bona fide, certifiable, genuine, honest, real, right. It comes from the Middle English and Old English, um, and the, the, the roots are around fidelity and faithful. Truth is a noun to tell the truth, the whole truth, the truth of the matter. It is a noun, but it's also a transitive verb. To make level, to make square, balance, concentric, bring or restore to a desired mechanical accuracy or form. Truth be told, there are four truths. Objective truth, normative truth, subjective, and complex truth. Objective, 
normative, subjective, and complex. Objective truth is gravity. Gravity is, 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 is ag accepted in our society as an objective truth. Oxygen is an objective truth. We need oxygen to breathe. Normative truth is held in agreements or assumptions for everybody in a group. Tenets of faith, social norms, jargon, re regulations like building codes, uh, common laws, those are normative truths. Subjective truths, that jacket is orange versus that jacket is red. Or if you're an art director, that jacket is smoky pumpkin. <laughs> Both parties can be right. It does not mean that if you sell a lie long enough that it becomes a truth. And then complex truth. This is said to be the truth that has the power to transform patterns or decision making and actions into these challenging times. Complex truth claims that the other three truths, objective, normative, and subjective, are all true all the time. So the truth is tricky. There are flavors, sizes, and colors of truth. There's the whole truth, half a truth, which most of the time is a complete lie, <laughs> kernel of truth, grain of truth, smidgen of truth, and the smallest is truth social. You can do things with truth. You can bend the truth. You can stretch the truth. You can twist the truth. There are flavors. There's bitter truth and sweet truth. And then there's types of truth. Sad truth, unfortunate truth, personal truth, moments of truth, gospel truth, naked truth, ugly truth. Truth is even musical. After all, country music is three chords and the truth. <laughs> the greatest friend of truth is time. Her greatest enemy is prejudice, and her constant companion is humility. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Is used in every courtroom in America. Many religions believe that God is the truth, in which case that would be, do you tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you truth? <laughs> The truth shall make you free. The full verse, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free, is inscribed in the lobby of the CIA, the Central Intelligence Agency headquarters in Langley, Virginia. Incidentally, the original translation here was by William Tydale, who was strangled and burned at the stake in 1536 for daring to translate biblical books from the Greek and Hebrew. He was strangled before he was burned at the stake because it was a mercy if you repented while you were tied to the stake. So the truth will set you free, but it might get you killed before that. All truth passes through three phases. First, it is ridiculed. The first reaction to truth is hatred. All truths begin as blasphemies. Second, it is violently opposed. And third, it is accepted as being self-evident. So I'm going to show you this thing called the Overton window. I got this from Jim Kenny, who's an amazing lecturer and, and uh, mind, brilliant, brilliant man, uh, former director of the World Parliament of R Religions. And he uses this a lot in his lectures. And it shows how our world and our humans um, move things from um, unthinkable to radical to acceptable sensible popular and policy to that to that center window or out of that window so i'm going to ask you to 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 take policy and popular as truth as we look at a at a few things for instance uh, the women's right to vote 1919 right um before that it was unthinkable it had to become radical. It had to become ex acceptable. So we got, we got to acceptable and sensible uh, to the women's right to vote. The, the ERA 
was introduced in 1923 and it still has not been ratified. Thank you. So we need to get it, the women with the truth that women are equal to men past the sensible line and into the popular and into the policy. If you think about legal abortion, there are 600,000 to a million abortions in this country a year. It needs to stay in the Overton window. Interracial marriage, when you think about it, how absurd that it would be that, that the skin tone of two people could not get married. That didn't happen until 1967. Marriage equality, 2015. My husband and I have been together illegally for 43 years. <laughs> and uh, legal since uh, 2015. We actually got married in this room. But it wasn't until 1974 that the National Psychiatric Association removed homosexuality from the disease list. Removed it from being a mental illness. And today you look at the LGBTQ plus uh, community and what's, what's, what's happening. We do big sculptures at Pride every year and there's now family day. Marijuana. We're living testament of going from unthinkable to popular in policy. Slavery. We haven't moved very far. We've moved a little bit. Cocaine was a central ingredient to Coca-Cola when it was first introduced. Can you imagine that happening today? <laughs> Truth is like the sun. You can shut it out for a time, but it ain't going away. Some people think that the truth can be hidden with a little cover up and decoration. But as time goes by, the truth is revealed and the fake is what fades away. Truth and comedy, this was another thing that I found when I was researching that there seemed to be a lot of quotes and a lot of stuff around truth and comedy. Humor is what happens when you're told the truth quicker and more directly than we're used to. <laughs> comedy comes from the awkwardness of living, the stuff that makes you cringe but borders on the tragic. It resonates, it comes from an emotional truth. If you're going to tell people the truth, be funny or they'll kill you. Comedy has to be based on truth. You take the truth and you put a little curlicue at the end. Jesters do often prove to be prophets. A lot of truth is said in jest. Comedy is an escape, not from truth, but from despair, a narrow escape into faith. To tell the truth. Does anybody remember to tell the truth? Oh, yeah. <laughs> a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. It aired from 1956 to 1978 and has been revived several times since then. Or Truth, Truth or Consequences, a radio show in the 40s and 50s that, uh, that became a television show in the 50s all the way to the 80s. If you're my age, it's how we met Bob Barker. <laughs> so around truth and magic, we all know that art is not the truth. Art is a lie that makes us realize the truth. Fiction is a lie that is told in the service of truth. Beauty is truth, truth is beauty. I challenge you to think about magical moments that you've had in your life as a child or an adult and tell me if there was anything in those moments that did not feel true, that was not true. That's what got me roped into this when I told that to Brandy. But the truth is, we don't love enough. Truth is, we are too easily moved to anger and loathing. We have too many lonely people. We keep giving power to hateful idiots. <laughs> and we confuse vitriol with truth. Here is the very sad 
truth right now under our noses. Uh, can I ask how many, uh, how many people in this room are in the creative business or that your, your, your life is mainly about creative business? Um, this, is my, this is my last thought and then I'm gonna open it to, to, to ask me anything. Um, on average, the museums of our world display under 5% of their collections. Uh, I was re recently at the Kir uh, 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 Kirk uh, Kirkland, and they brag about 6% of our collection is out at any one time. And I looked this up, worldwide, 5% of all art, treasures, and artifacts around the world are, are on display. 95% of all art, artifacts, history, all of that is stored away, out of public view. How ridiculous is that? What an absurd thing that should move from the Overton window of being policy to being ridiculous, a ridiculous idea. I call that the, the, the institutions of the world have got to get past that, store it away out of view and keep it, keep it precious and release all of that beauty and art and artifacts back into the world. They could endow themselves permanently around the world if they, if they did that and put it back out there. I can understand 50%, only 50% of our treasures are on view, but 95%? But this goes for us too. Don't store away your beauty. Don't store away your treasures. Don't store away your light. Only by opening up your vault can you show the world who you truly are. And only by receiving each other's truths can we understand how to live together in love. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm getting a little emotional. Um, lost my mother a couple of weeks ago. Oh. And it, I've been really, <laughs> been really good, but oh. I um, just got a little overwhelmed. My therapist told me if that happens, <laughs> tell the truth. Open your vault, share your truth with the world. That is what I have to say about truth. Now you can.